Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing all of these products, these brushes and this blender that are from the Portuguese brand Arjão Makeup and I'm just really excited to share with you all of my thoughts and my opinion about this brand. So if you don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist and here in my channel you will always find videos about makeup, reviews of new products and also tips about makeup. So if you don't want to miss anything, don't forget to subscribe my channel clicking on the red button and clicking on the ring bell as well so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. And don't forget to like the video if you like this content. I'm also going to leave down there all of my other social media if you want to follow me there as well. So all of the products that I'm going to talk about next, you can buy it on the Argent Makeup store but I'm going to leave the link on my comments area if you want to go check it out. And now let's pass to all of the review. So to start, I have here all the brushes that I'm going to try out in this video. Before I try them all, I want to talk to you a little bit about this brand. So this brand, it's the first Portuguese brand that has her brushes or makeup brushes. It was created in 2011 and all the products are cruelty free. So this brand here in Portugal is known because of the pink brushes. It was something that appeared in magazines, on the internet, so it got uh, very famous if we can say that because of the pink brushes and in our website you can find all of these brushes in pink or in black, that it's the classic ones. I have all the brushes in here because I wanted to try them all and see if I like it and I think that brushes are never enough so I think that's going to be good at least for me to try and to know another Portuguese brand. You know that I have already talked in here about one other makeup brand that it's Portuguese, that it's the Musa glitter that I really like. I think that their glitters are amazing and if you don't know, go check them out. But we are here to talk about the Argent makeup brushes and I have them in here, as I already told you, and I'm going to open and show you all the brushes that I have. Here we have the sponge. The name of this sponge is the Marshmallow Blender and I think that it's very cute. It's pink as well <laughs> but the brushes that I bought are not pink I decided to buy the black ones so here they are and we have uh, six brushes so first we have the 101 that it's to apply foundation now we have the 102 that it's to apply powder you can apply your bronzer your blush your eyeliner and your powder as well here we have the 201 that it's for details like details on your eye so here we have the 202 and they say that it's to blend uh, or shadows. Now we have the 203 that it's to do the eyeliner. So last but not least we have the 204 and it says that it's to blend powder and cream products. It says it can be used to blend um, your eyeshadow, to apply your concealer and also to apply eyeliner. I bought a set and it's the super classic one so let's now try and see because that's what we all want. So I zoomed you in and now we are going to apply the foundation. To apply the foundation I'm going to use 101 and the foundation that I'm going to use it's the Uda Beauty one, the older version. So my foundation is already applied and I think that the brush is really good. I think that it spread my foundation really well and the bristles are really soft on the skin. They are really, it's really soft, like even softer than the one that I really like to use, that it's the Zoeva one. I think that the Zoeva one, it's a little bit harder. I really think that the bristles are really soft and soft on the skin as well and the product didn't stay really in the bristles like this one does if you can see that. Now I'm going to pick the sponge, the marshmallow one and I think that I'm going to tap it on my skin 
just to see uh, how it works. I wet it in water so it's a little bit bigger than it was before. I think that it's really soft on the skin as well and it's so fluffy if you could touch and see you would uh, think the same as I as I do it's really soft and I tapped it on my skin because I wanted to give another finish to the skin and I really like to do this to apply the foundation with a brush and then come with a sponge and just give another finish. Now we are going to apply our concealer and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty as well that it's over receiver concealer and I'm going to uh, apply it with the marshmallow blender and see what I think about the sponge for this. So I also like the sponge to apply the concealer I think that it's so soft and in this area that it's so fragile, if we can say that. I think that it's really good, the sensation that you have when you're doing the application of your concealer. So I also want to do something with the sponge. I want to apply my contour. It's the Tantour by Huda Beauty. I want to try and apply it with the sponge to see if it's good. So I think that the sponge is really good as well to do the contour with a cream product. Even though I liked it more to apply the concealer and to tap the foundation. And now to finish with the sponge, I'm just going to apply the powder under my eye area just to see if I like to apply the powder. So I also put the powder in here with the sponge and I really liked to apply the powder under my eyes with the sponge. It was really easy and it stayed well. I'm just doing a little bit of baking right now. And I'm going to pick the 102 to apply the rest of the powder in my face. Uh, I forgot to tell you, the powder that I'm using it's the Huda Beauty. So I think that to brush is really easy to use uh, to apply powder because it's so small so you can reach all of the areas so you can apply the powder wherever you want so I think that's good the, the size of the brush and I think that the bristles are really soft as well as the bristles on the foundation brush and I'm going to use it as well to apply my bronzer I'm going to use the NARS in the color Casino To apply the bronzer, I didn't like it as much. Uh, I, I prefer to use this kind of brushes to apply uh, the bronzer, so maybe it's because of that. But it's not a bad brush to apply it. It's not just my preference. I'm going to pick it again to apply the blush. I'm going to use the NARS, the Orgasm. So I, I liked it to apply the blush, I think that it applied really well, you just need to be careful with your hands so you don't do like a slap on your face. I'm also going to use it to apply the highlighter because I wanted to try all the brushes with everything and all the products, uh, the ways that they say they can be used. The highlighter that I'm going to use, it's the Becca, the C Pop. So to apply the highlighter is good as well. You just need to apply with this part of the brush and it's easier to apply the highlighter as well. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to be back right now. So my eyebrows are done and now we're going to pass to the eyes. I'm going to use the James Charles in Morphe palette. I'm going to apply this shadow first and I'm going to Apply it with the 204, that it's the blender one. So for the first impressions, I really like it. 
I think it's very easy to blend and it did a really good job. Some uh, makeup brush, the blender ones, do when you're blending your eye, do um, little holes in the shadow and this one doesn't so I'm, I'm liking it. And now with the 202 I'm going to use this shadow in here. So about to do 202. I think I don't have uh, any brush like this one, so I'm not used to use a brush like this to apply my shadow, but I really liked it. I think that it was really easy to use and to blend the shadow. I also want to use it to apply my shadow in here under my eye. I'm going to use the same shadow. With the same brush I'm going to also apply this shadow. I want to try and see if um, it works uh, to do what I want to do, that it's apply shadow on my eyelid. So I think that it's good to apply the shadow uh, all over your eye as well, but I prefer to use it to do what I did before, to apply the shadow on my outer corner. And now let's pass to the 201 and I'm going to pick this one in here and I'm going to apply it on my inner corner of the eye and I'm also going to apply it in here on my eyebrow bow. So this one is for details and I think that for this is very good because it's so small and it's the right size so you can use it here or here and I think it's going to be good as well to blend an eyeshadow but with detail and just to keep the eyeshadow in that place. Now to end we have here the 203 that it's the eyeliner one. I'm going to pick the black shadow and I'm going to do an eyeliner. So about the 203. I think that it's really good because it's so small, if you can see, I'm going to show you another one that I have in here, it's so small compared to the other one, it's so small that I think that it really gives the precision and the stability that you need to do eyeliner. Now I'm just going to apply my mascara and my lipstick and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I already put my mascara on and my lipstick as well and I'm going to tell all of my thoughts and my opinion about all of the products. So let's talk about the Marshmallow Blender. I think that it's really, really good. I don't know if it's even better than the Beauty Blender. I have to try like side by side to see how they perform and everything but I think it's really, really good and it's so soft and fluffy. So I was thinking about doing a video for you guys, uh, doing a battle with this one and the other. Tell me if you would like that. I really, really loved it. So now let's talk about the 101, that it's the foundation brush. And I think that it's so, so good. So the bristles are so soft. Even now that I'm touching it and that we have already applied the foundation. So my favorite brush for foundation it's the Zoeva one, the 104. But I think that this one is even better because I think that they apply really similar. So maybe I'm going to have another favorite uh, brush for foundation. I don't know, I have to try it more and then I can tell you. Now let's pass to the 102, that it's the brush that I applied all of the powders and I think that it's very good to apply powder. I really like to apply blush as well and the highlighter. As I told you, I didn't like as much to apply my bronzer. I really like the size of it because it's smaller so you can reach all of the areas like if you want to apply powder in here. And I think that it's very good to have a, 
a brush where you can like do everything. So now let's pass to the eye brushes and first I'm going to talk about the 201. So I think it's really good to details, not only on the eye, you can apply it on your cupid bow and on your nose, all of that small places that you want to apply the makeup with detail. Now let's pass to the 202 and this one it was like a, a surprise because as I told you I don't have any brush like this one so I really liked it to apply my shadow on my outer corner I think that it's really good I really want to try this one more because it's a different one so now let's pass to the 203 that it's the eyeliner brush and as I told you before I think that it's really really good because it's so small so you have all the control and you can do the eyeliner with precision and I think that's really really important when you're doing your eyeliner. And to hand we have the 204 so I think it was really easy to blend with this brush it really was easy but I want to try with another shadows and with color shadows because um, with color shadows normally it's harder to blend because it has a lot of pigmentation and now what I want to tell you it's about the bristles of the brushes I think that the bristles of all of them are really really soft when you touch them I think that the bristles are really really good quality so I'm really happy about that but I also want to wash them all and see if there are any fallout of the bristles so I gave you all of my opinion about these brushes and I think that it's a Portuguese brand so we have to support the brands that we have in our country and now I want you to go down there on my comments area and tell me everything that you thought about the brushes if you have already tried it if you know the brand all of it not to end the video I just really hope you like this one and thank you so much for watching all the video through the end and I really hope to see you on my next one bye